Good morning, what's up y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Bluegrass Trapper here. We got to come out here this morning and do a little fishing. I got, we had a good, much needed rain last night. I was going to do some mowing today, but it's too wet, so it gave me the perfect excuse to come out and get my lines wet for the first time this year. And uh, I'm going to see if I can't catch a mess of fish and maybe do a catch and cook. I know this pond right here, this big pond here, has got a bunch of warmouth bluegills maybe some bass uh, we don't know what all's in here the guy owns it says uh he believes somebody caught a bass out of it before but this pond was stopped from people fishing at the lake and just putting their fish in here over the years so there ain't no tell what all's in here i know there's a bunch of snapping turtles in here a bunch of red and yellow ear sliders and another kind of turtle i'm not sure what kind it is got me some red worms Try some red worms, and I got some artificial baits in my tackle box there. We're going to throw out a few times and see what we catch. Y'all stay with me. I'm going to start out by throwing this little white jig in there and see what happens. Come on, somebody, why don't you bite? The old bluegrass is itching to have a good fight. Hey, that might be all right. It might be a song one day. Whoa, pretty sure I was hung on a limb. It wasn't a fish, I don't believe. Put me a red worm on this booger right here. Throw that little baby in there and let it float. I'm getting a bite. Yeah, come on. Come on, baby. Oh, oh, there he goes again. Probably a little bitty one. There's some decent sized warmouth in here, but there he goes again. Come on, you little stinker. Yeah. Little bitty thing. At least they're not skunk. You know, that makes some good bait for catfish. Little feller. Gone somewhere. The old part of my bait. Yeah. Hey, buddy. Little bitty old thing. I ain't got one in there for bait. See if I can't do better than that. I'm about to take that floater off, put that sucker on the bottom. A little bluegill. Boy, they ain't bigger than nothing. Get ready to cut one of them up, put it on there and cut bait. This one's a little bit bigger. Still pretty small. Yeah, this one's a little bigger. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Eating size right there. That was fun, but he swallowed the freaking hook. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, boys. Check it out. That's the kind of fish. I'm talking about good eating size right there. Need about 10 of these. Doggone swallowed the hook, but that's okay. Got a little old bitty in on here. Come on, I want to see daddy and mama. Little squirt.
Got one, another little old video. It's all right, I need you, little fella. I'm gonna use this one. Stay tuned, show you what I do with them. Get another bite. But in the meantime, I'm a, I put that little bluegill on a big old hook just in case there's catfish in here. Throw him way out there on the bottom. Just let him, let him be. This pole really ain't big enough. Hopefully a turtle don't get it, but it's what I got with me is what I'm using. Just gonna let him be and keep an eye on him. Oh yeah, oh another little one, another little bitty one. I could eat, if I was real hungry, I would eat this one, but I'm not, so he gets a free pass today. It's all right, if I catch a nice one about every four or five, I'll be all right. A couple hours before I know it, I'll have my, I'll have my 10, maybe. Oh, baby. Ah, that's what I'm talking about. You got to think my other line, but. That's a nice fish for one of these. Check that out. So I'm talking about big old fat one. I gotta get him untangled here. That's what I call a war mouth. I don't know what y'all call them, but it's not like a regular bluegill. Kind of had to color one, but look at his mouth. Got a lot bigger mouth. Perch, war mouth, whatever you want to call them. But that's a nice hand sized fish right there. They put up a good fight. And uh, to me, that's just as fun as catching bass. These little fellas right here, they'll put up they'll put up a really nice, really good fight. Good eating. Need about eight more of these. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, I got him. He's small, but I got him. Boy, oh boy. Looks like we might get wet here in a little while. But that's all right, because I was wet before I was ever dry, so I don't think I'll melt. You can do it. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Nice one. Heck yeah. <laughs> it ain't as wide as the other one, but that's another one of those war mouse looking dudes. I'll tell you, for the size they got, they put up a good fight. I'm trying to get enough big ones for a mess. I got four decent sized floor mouth. Uh, yeah, I know, I need at least 10 of them. I oh, know, they love them. I do too, but. Uh, Yeah, I like to catch about 10 of them to make a good mess. Uh-oh, we got one on one. Man, I keep catching a bunch of little ones, about every four little ones to catch a decent one. Well, you can stop by here. You're not getting time. I got three poles and I got a box of red ones. 
at the gas station, that new one. So yeah, a lot of times they get them there, they're dead too. Boy, this is like right on the edge. I don't know, I might keep him. He's big enough. I can eat him. Maybe I can get a bigger one. Man, I didn't have my main camera rolling. Check out that dude. Woo! That right there's a fish. Warmouth, but chum of the crickets. Chum's a molly look at that sucker. It's a fat old dude. These fish like this, they'll fight like a freaking bass. I mean, that's already so big, you can't even see my hand hardly. Good fish. Well, y'all, dummy me, I only brought one battery for this camera I'm on right now. Both of my batteries are dead for my GoPro. And this one says it's got 13 minutes left, so do what I can in 13 minutes. Y'all stay tuned. Oh, this might be size. Oh, probably ain't as big as I thought because it's bringing in a stick with him. Yeah, I'd be. I'll throw him back. I was hoping to get a big old catfish on that bluegill, but I don't even know if there's any in here. Sure would be a nice pond to stop with them. That spring fed, it always stays full. The water's nice and clean. But anyway, throw this little feller back. Oh, this one feels pretty good. Oh yeah. That's another eating size. Hope my battery lasts till I get enough to eat, but I think this is probably about number seven that I've kept, maybe, if I count it right. Anyway, another eater. Getting a bite. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> I got this one below the mouth somehow. Must have snagged him. Pretty nice fish though. I don't know how in the world he done that. Somehow he was hooked underneath. But I don't care, I got him. One more for my goal of 10. Y'all stay tuned. Alright, guys, come on. One more. One more for my goal of 10. Eating size. Getting a bite. Hey, buddy. Check it out. There's my number 10. It's a nice eating size fish. There's maybe 11 or 12 in there. Some of those smaller ones swallowed the hook, and I just throw them in there, but this is about 10 nice eating size fish. About I'm almost out of battery on my camera, so I got to hurry up and talk. But uh, I'm going to put this sucker in there. Let me show you all what I got right here. That'll make a nice mess of fish. 
take all these suckers home, flay them up, and uh, fry them up. Hoping to catch a big catfish here on that other pole with bluegill on it, but no luck on that. So, I'll see y'all in the kitchen. Stay tuned. All right, y'all, now I'm home with my fish. I done started cleaning them, and I decided to do a little little clip here to show y'all how I clean these bluegill. A lot of different ways of doing it, but this is just the way I like to do it. So what I'll do is take a spoon, butter knife, whatever you want to use, and I'll start descaling right here along the back. Just along the back right there, where I'm going to stick my knife in at. Makes it easier for the knife to go in. Flip it over. I'll do the other side along the back right there. You can descale the whole fish if you want, but the way I'm going to do it, it's just a waste of time for me. Now I'll take the knife. And the only reason I'm descaling along the back there. It's because it makes it a whole lot easier. It's a lot easier on your knife. I'll go in and you can cut back. You'll kind of feel when you get past the rib cage. Once I'm past the rib cage, poke the knife through on the other side just like that. Fall that bone back. All the way back. And I'll take Cut across the right behind the head. Just like that, and I'll peel this off. I'll just peel that flay off. I get up so far over the rib cage and I'll just pull it off. There we go. We got a flay. Now, the reason I don't descale this whole thing, you can cook them with skin on if you descale them, but the way we do them, a lot of times we'll skin them. And they skin them a little bit easier if you leave scales on. I'll just do it like that right there. There we go. There's our little flay. All that is right there is skin. Throw it in the bucket. Flip, I got another one laying here. Flip it over. Run your knife right up along that skin like so. Nice little play. And that's how I do them. You can descale them, cut their head off, cook them whole. You'll get a little more meat off of them. But the kids like just to be able to grab a flay and eat it and uh, or make a sandwich or whatnot and uh, makes them easier to eat the way I do them like this and they don't like skin on them. We always eat them with skin on them when I was growing up but that's how I clean them. Pretty simple. Y'all stay tuned. Catch y'all in the kitchen. Alright, I got the fish all flayed. Clean, double checking for bones. They're all clean and good. What I like to do for my breading is I like to use cornmeal. Put some cornmeal and I like to add just a little bit of flour. It can be pretty much any kind of flour, but all-purpose flour. Give it a little more crisp. And then I'll take an egg, put it in some milk. I got some milk here in this bowl. Drop the egg in there. And I like to take a scoop of mayonnaise. And I don't really know, it just adds, some, adds to the flavor. And I, I do this with deer, squirrel, rabbit. Put a pretty good hunk of mayonnaise in there. Stir that up real good. But everything's mixed together. The egg, milk, and mayonnaise. Once you got that mixed up real good, I'm going to take and drop the fish in there. Drop those flays in my egg wash. I'm just going to put them all in there. Give them a little stir. Now you can add whatever you want to this flour. Salt, pepper. 
flour, cornmeal mix. And I'll just dip them in here and throw them in the frying pan. That's what I'm, I just wanted to show y'all what I'm using for my batter. Let's get them cooking. Alright, so take the oil, drop a little flour. Oh yeah, it's good and hot. Drop them in this skillet right here. I'm just using this little non-stick skillet. Got a big cast iron one. But I decided to use this one. Try it out. I kind of like this little skillet. Drop them babies in there and let them sit there until they're golden brown. Alright, y'all stay tuned and let them sit there and cook. When we get her done, we'll set and do a taste test. Last couple pieces just now getting done. Check that out. Alright, now it's time for the moment of the truth right here. Ain't looking good. Good lord, I need a haircut. I look like a hippie. <laughs> Alright, get your piece. I'll eat one. For the thing. For the meal. Oh, try your piece. Mm. There's some ketchup there. Get all the way there. Oh, y'all, I cleaned it out. I already tried it out. Oh, I don't know. You already know it's gonna be good, don't you? Mmm. Mmm. You like it? Ain't no doing that. Cameron Matthew Blake. Oh yeah. I'm gonna try mine with a little bit of ketchup. Not bad, pretty good. I, I like bluegill. Pretty good. Mmm. You never tried bluegill? Give yeah. them a try. They are really tasty fish. Yeah, they really, bit, they feel fat fish. Okay, better than catfish. They're really good. A little bit, takes a little bit more to get them clean, a little bit more time. But once you get them, once you get them uh, clean, they're worth it. So you like them better than catfish? Yeah. What about you, Matthew? <laughs> I was a little joke. Yeah, look at some good eating. Hope y'all like this kind of video. Please like, subscribe, comment, and uh, I'll catch y'all somewhere down the line in the next one. You gonna tell them, Cameron? Tell them like, subscribe, comment. What is that? Tell them if you like this video. Hit that like button. Tell them if you like this video.